Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. We're gonna be doing a September 2023 uh, angelic messaging and energy update overview. And then I'll go through each of the signs and pull a, a card to give a little bit more information for each sign. Now, I'm gonna be doing a channeled message here in the beginning. I do apologize, I'm getting this up late. There was a whole big story around that. It was around my equipment. Go back and see my posts on the community page if you're curious about what was going on there. But the channeled messages have been coming in for, for a while now. And on a, on a physical level, in this world, there is gonna be every kind of strategy being pulled to make you feel like um, we're not secure. We're not secure, we're not safe. That will be the overall narrative for September. Uh, a lot of fear mongering, a lot of like, oh no, what does that mean? Now the fear mongering, there's that, but there's also the drama stirs, right? So like, you know, with, with, it's fine to talk about things. It's fine to have observations around things, but it's one thing to just present like here, here's what's going on. What do you think of that? Uh, it's quite another thing to be like, oh my gosh. And you know, here's what's going on and it's catastrophic and oh my goodness. And I understand because it's part of the hustle. It's what social media does. That's how people get popular. Um, that's how they get followers and all that stuff because people, it's exciting to listen to them. Um, so as long as you know that going into it and you're not giving into the fear, I'm <laughs> sitting on a boulder, <laughs> that's not great. Um, <laughs> as long as you know that and you're not letting it drag your energy down, then it's fine. But beyond that, there's just going to be you know, people love and get a charge out of mysteries. And so I think that's where we get some, some little nugget of information and people blow it up into this thing that it doesn't need to be. Or, you know, take precautions. Okay, don't be one of those people who are like, I don't believe in this, that, and the other when it's actually a real thing that's in our world. You know what I'm saying? So there is that. Um, there will be, unfortunately, a lot of people. Again, the whole theme here is just trying to drag us out of the light and trying to get us fearful. Uh, you'll see a lot of people saying, <sighs> people just assume that it's, you know, some magical thing that happened and they're rolling their eyes and diminishing people who are in the spiritual realm, who are trying to work towards higher consciousness, um, might make you feel guilty for that. And I feel like a lot of people, especially if you're watching this right now, it's gonna be a lot of people who surround you, like maybe loved ones who are saying, I'm concerned that you're into this. A big one for fear mongering is you're gonna go to hell if you believe this. That's fear mongering. That's manipulation. That's not great, okay? Um, another one would just be like, you know, these uh, people who pride themselves on being intellectual, uh, saying, <laughs> I know everything. They're coming from this know-it-all attitude and saying people who believe in that stuff they're not as intelligent as me, there's something wrong with them, or the big one, they're mentally ill, or something along those lines. There is a lot to try to keep people from getting into their higher consciousness, expanded awareness, and a lot of shaming going on to keep us from wanting to connect with our angels and archangels. And to, again, just shame it, to just diminish it in any way that they can. A lot of that going on as well. The other type of intimidation will be around money. You know, there will be a lot of shaming around, like even though um, a lot of people are having a hard time paying bills right now and paying the rent, there'll be shame around not paying the rent on time perhaps, or, you know, getting hit hard with a fee if you, if you are late on something. And I wanna bring that up because it feels like that's happening on a much broader spe spectrum than any of us realize. It's money shaming, okay? It's all of those kinds of things. Oh, that scared me, I thought they were talking to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> money shaming, house shaming, you know, I don't know, it's this weird dichotomy where it's like, everybody knows what's going on. We know we're getting pressed and pressed and pressed, and yet you're supposed to still be going, like debt is bad, you shouldn't go into debt, and yet you're expected to go into debt for your house. Like, I don't know too many people who can pay cash for their home, you know what I'm saying? So pay attention to themes like that. Now, during September, we do have the 9-9 energy portal. 
this can be revelation. This is uh, getting into your higher wisdom. This can be a spiritual reload or reboot, if you want to see it that way. But this is a lot of information coming through, not information that tickles your intellect. That's what a lot of people do when we talk about uh, downloads. They're like, oh, I got downloads about the mysteries of the... No, you didn't. You're such a liar. Okay. (laughs) No, you didn't. You're just out there trying to act like, you know, God chose you or something. Give me a break. God chose all of us because we're all connected. And that's the thing. Whenever something is trying to separate us, see it for the clown work that it is. I said it. And and work backwards from that. So through September, especially around that 99 energy portal, it's going to be even more imperative, shall I? Oh, no, I shall not. Oh, my Lanta. Yeah, she done for the day. <laughs> it's going to be a hat kind of day. Um, you know, and it, it work more towards unity, but not unity in the sense of I'm going to enable bad behavior or I'm just going to make excuses for people's bad behavior. We're not playing those games. We will not be doing that. Okay. So remember that. Get back. Let this be a spiritual practice month. It has a spiritual practice kind of frequency. And yes, the dark is catching on to um, the fact that people are using the light. They're using high frequencies. And so they're choosing high frequency dates to make things happen and you know exactly what I'm talking about and if you don't think about it okay so even around 99 what would have happened around 99 years ago uh, what just happened recently on 88 those types of things so be aware anything and everything is going to be used to scare us to drop us down Um, you know and people the, the problem is is that a lot of people will feed into it if you wonder why I got my, I'm trying to cup my hand around my microphone to block the wind a little bit. I don't know if it's helping at all, but you know, they're, they're going to try to intimidate us. Um, people coming into your personal space, testing us. Yeah. Think about that. You might think, well, that's no big deal. Well, then you're probably one of the people that's always trying to push boundaries and make people uncomfortable because you get a charge out of it. Um, wait until October. That's going to hit you hard. That's going to hit you hard. So Please leave your questions down below about September. Um, Make sure that the questions you ask are going to be beneficial for everybody in the comment section. So it's not like personal reading time. You know how to get a personal reading if that's what you want to do. But uh, I will try to answer them as best as I can. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for the general part of this. And we're going to move on to the signs. Hi there, Aries. Let's see what's going on for you for September. So we have mauve and it says, enjoy clear hearing. The number is 43 reduces to seven. So a lot of archangelic presence, um, you know, amping up your clear audience abilities and also being careful what you're listening to, but that's going to be a big one. Uh, So if people are trying to tell you, like drag you down with like, hey, this could be happening, that could be happening, be mindful maybe to shut some of that out. Or if people are just straight up getting in your business, shutting that out. Gossip, we're not doing it, okay? So don't let your, you know, what could be coming in for your hearing, don't let that get all cluttered up by negativity. Taurus, for you, we have blue, activate your healing power. Numbers 37 reduces to 10, excuse me. So we're gonna leave that at the 1010 portal. This is major energetic upgrades for you. This is, um, you know, having a big, big spiritual awakening. So what that looks like for each of you, obviously it's gonna be different. For some of you who've already had several spiritual awakenings, it might not be so flashy, (laughs) but um, it's still happening. It's still um, getting you going in a different direction definitely a different perspective. If you're just on your spiritual awakening path, this could feel like magic. I'm not going to lie. It could be um, just something you're not used to, a deeper sense of peace, and a deeper sense of knowing. I mean, and and this does activate your healing power, but um, you got to heal yourself first. Gemini, for you, we have Burgundy, awaken your passion, the number's 10. When, just for our purposes here, when it comes to a 10, we're going to leave it at a 10, okay? So watch again for, you know, you're getting prepped for the 1010 portal. So a lot of realizations are happening. This might be where you realize, I want to reconnect with my passion, not like the intellectual thing that tells you you're supposed to want this or that. 
as a goal or a dream, but what are your real passions? And being real with yourself about what you need to do to make that happen and not just spinning your wheels. So this is sort of, I think for a lot of you, lifting your head up from routine or from what you've always kind of just put pressure on yourself to do uh, and allowing yourself to explore a little bit more, explore things that could really awaken your heart space. Then we have cancer. For cancer, we have purple, developmental clarity. The number is 39. You know, this developmental clarity, uh, you are really looking at narratives and saying, no, thank you. You are really looking and being profoundly able to understand people's games. For example, I was saying this before, but um, I'm outside, I'm in a public place, but I'm in kind of an isolated public place. And um, I'm kind of over here in the corner. People felt the need to pull up here. And even though there's a whole mountain here, had to pull up right next to my car and came right up here talking while they knew I was filming. That is a thing, whether it is conscious or subconscious, um, people just trying to be disruptors. And, you know, the darkness will work through people like that. This is where we see a lot of people, like being considerate to one another is something that isn't natural for people anymore. You know, even, again, in this example, they didn't have to walk right next to my car and right next to my camera, but they did anyway. They want to be a disruptor. So for you, it's making sure the disruptors don't get any of your energy. They get none of you. Leo, let's see what's going on for you. For you, we have indigo, improve your vision. The number is 40, reduces to four. So this is you improving your intuition and understanding your intuitive hits a little bit better through an angelic standpoint. This would be your guardian angels wanting you to get more out of the ego and more into the heart space so that everything can be firing off at once. So you can perceive angelic guidance from your whole being and not just, again, from the intellect, um, trying to make things make sense, put them into a nice, neat little story. Virgo, you are next. Okay, if we can keep my hat from flying off. For you, we have pink, let love in. The number is four. The guardian angels are making such a big, a big presence here. They're, they're coming in with such a big energy. And again, we have, we have more of what was happening before. Um, I'll explain that here in a second. But this is opening up to divine love. This is opening up and, you know, anybody or anything that's trying to get in your way, you don't allow it in. And you can approach everything from a space of love. So for one of the other signs, I forget which one it was, um, somebody had to walk right by my camera, even though there's like a whole mountain here and a whole parking lot they had to walk right by here and talk so it just happened again that's energy okay so that could be maybe people love your energy and they want to be close to you and they don't even realize that they're doing it or it could be disruptor energy so whatever it is give yourself a lot of love open up to divine love your guardian angels are trying to help you libra let's see what you have you have brilliance discover your sparkle the number is 26 reduces to eight this is heart opening this is letting go of you know there are gonna be so many agitators out there people who are trying to pull you off your path to put you in a low frequency trying to distract what you're doing i've had i've been telling other signs here i've had lots of people come like if you saw where i'm at i'm off in a corner Okay, like there's a big parking lot here. No reason for people to make a beeline over the camera and walk right behind it. So either they like your energy or they're trying to be disruptors. It's that kind of thing that's going on. You're gonna have to know the difference. But as far as like as far as you're concerned, you are not letting those things take your energy and you're looking above and beyond it and finding your way and going for it. So that is incredible. This could be some really nice um, discoveries. I don't know if it's going to be opportunities. For some of you, it may be an opportunity, but more than anything, it's a discovery. So keep that in mind for September. For Scorpio, we have lavender. Connect to body, mind, and soul. The number is 44. 44 is absolutely your guardian angels. Guardian angels have just been coming up all over the place. They're like, we're here, we're here, we're here. We're trying to help you, right? So for you guys, it's recovery. It is a recovery time. You've been through it, you've had some hard moments, and now, yes, things are going to be getting better, but there's rest first, there's calm, there's peace. There is getting back into spiritual alignment, using this time wisely, 
okay, to recharge your batteries. So do not keep pushing through this month. There's a fly who's about to go right on the lens. I said, nope, nope, you're not disrupting my reading. We're not doing disruptors. We're not doing it. <laughs> so this is finding your peace and your calm and running with it, okay? For Sagittarius, we have Sapphire, Regenerate Your Body. The number is 38, comes to 11. I was feeling like a little bit of indigo, which this isn't indigo, but I was feeling that there first, and then the throat chakra, which is fine. But this is a master number. This is a moment to let your physical body recharge. So yes, spiritual work can play into that, absolutely. But this might be a time where if you haven't, like let's say you have some sort of physical ailment, you take care of it. That's for some of you. But for others, you have worked yourself to exhaustion and you can't go on like that. So September is going to be your lay low month, okay? <laughs> lay low, get some exercise. Or if you've been living large uh, here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's summertime. So sometimes people have barbecues and, you know, just eat all the junk food and all that. So, you know, this is a time to reset uh, check with a doctor if, if you know, you have some sort of ailment going on or a nutritionist if you're trying to do any sort of cleanse. But for you guys, heart, mind, body, soul, all that, but your body needs a little bit more attention. For Capricorn, you have, oh, I love this card so much, Magenta. Connect to your deepest inner knowing. The number is five. You're changing the way you connect to your inner knowledge to uh, spiritual downloads. You are, you know, before maybe it was like, oh, I'm getting some secret information. And now it's like, no, this, this is going to help me know how I need to change. So for example, if you've not been feeling well, and maybe you've been smoking or something, God forbid, um, <laughs> but you know, you know, what deepest, your deeper inner knowing, you know, you have to take accountability for that. You need to understand where that even started from, why it's there, this sort of thing, or, and make those changes. Or it could be, you know, if you've been on a spiritual path and you've been trying to, um, you know, manifest through manipulation, and then playing victim and saying, oh, my manifestations never come true. You know, <laughs> this is your deepest knowing where it's like, you know, I haven't really given myself space to connect. Try to shield this as much as I can uh, to give myself permission to connect to manifest from a pure place. Whatever it is, the deepest knowing something is occurring to you. Something is there to they're saying to be witnessed and to be remedied. Aquarius. So you have rainbow connect to spirit in nature. The number is one. This is getting reset, again, rejuvenated, letting some of these old lessons go. So especially if you guys are on the 99 energy portal, see what realizations are coming up. Because I think this for you guys is like, this isn't worth it. I'm fed up. I'm done. Because it feels like there's a quick drop. <laughs> so you're not even waiting until 1010. You're taking care of business now because your peace cannot wait. So this is you stepping into, I, I would say, self-discovery, self-fulfillment, um, maybe even reaching your potential or getting into a place where you start to reach your potential. It's absolutely beautiful. And then for Pisces, we have bronze. Strengthen your body. The number is 14, reduces to five. I think more than anything, this is asking you to, uh, to ground, okay, to be grounded and uh, I know it says strengthen your body, but I'm getting a message around strengthening your mind and your heart. I think you're kind of getting hit from all angles. Now, this is a very uplifting time. It can come through rest. Um, you know, if you realize you went up a flight of stairs and you couldn't breathe, <clears throat> recent example from my own life, <laughs> maybe it's time to get out there and take care of yourself with, you know, check with your doctor, make sure everything is safe. So there's that. But this is also like, um, don't push your body too far. There's something, I don't know, y'all are like straining your body. There's a lot of body straining. If you're like, this is dumb, this is my September. Yes, it's your September. And that maybe that's exactly why you need to strengthen your body because you keep neglecting it, okay? It's the vessel that holds your soul. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.